What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here. I hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. It's lovely out here in North Carolina. Well, I've got this rig switched over. That is mining Ethereum. And we're getting about 147, 149 mega hashes. This is factory settings. It's not overclocked at all, other than I fixed the fan at 80% on all the cards just for testing purposes. And there are six Sapphire Radon RX 480 gigabyte car, 8 gigabyte cards running in this rig to produce this. And we can actually, in another video, I'll show you guys how I do a BIOS mod and uh, play with the tricks a little bit. But basically, uh, it will get them up to 28 mega hash plus 20 mega hash for library. So it's a really, really nice mod. That's coming up soon. But for now, just going to teach you guys how to mine straight Ethereum with your factory set cards. So let's get into it. Okay, first thing is send me an email to this. Um, you'll only get an auto response once every three days, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I, you can do it periodically. I basically update this location. This is where I'm going to put all my drivers. Uh, links to the drivers and everything as I'm building up my library more or less um, So send a link or excuse me just you know send anything Hi or what you're interested in maybe what you're interested in so I kind of keep track of it um, and Send that to the Bitcoin miner dot downloads at gmail.com and then you'll get an auto response Which basically just says hey, thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate the support uh, it gives you my tip addresses, and it also, you know, basically gives you the links for Amazon. So I know funds are tight, you know, a few people tip here and there. Don't, don't feel obligated to tip by any means, but if you do, I definitely appreciate it. I try to use the funds for the channel and help it grow. Uh, but something everybody does is shop on Amazon. So all you've got to do is bookmark that affiliate link down there at the bottom and you know I basically get a few cents here and there nothing crazy but it does help uh, and I really appreciate that and I'll use the money again to grow the channel there is a uh, Amazon store down here which kind of puts all of the parts together for you guys so it basically generalizes what motherboards um, different parts you need to actually get a rig up and going so hopefully that will help uh, and I plan on working on that later on and putting more into it basic disclaimer in here um, you know you are going you know you're basically messing with your uh, graphics cards and stuff they shouldn't have no problem whatsoever I'm just trying to cover my butt all right so now once you click the download link for the proper miner that you're looking for we're gonna show, come into this okay this is the miner for Ethereum AMD only and Nvidia excuse me this is actually a dual miner you can use Nvidia and AMD with this miner um, so everybody out there should be able to use this um, let me pause this for a second you know I just realized that unfortunately my uh, Nvidia I did not put the Nvidia drivers in this um, although you should be able to use just the latest Nvidia drivers um, you should have no problems with that so just go ahead and try the one you have if the one you have doesn't work then go and download the latest one uh, I may come back and update this I'm waiting on my motherboard it's been RMA I had problems with my new computer and I can't run uh, Nvidia yet so I'm I believe it will work just fine so don't worry about the driver if you uh, have an Nvidia card these drivers are for AMD cards so again, match your windows with your basic cards. So if you have a 300 series, 200 series, 400 series, Windows 10, you're gonna want to get 400 series, Windows 10, you wanna get that card. So get the right driver for your system. Go ahead and download the uh, miner, which is right there. Get the readme, it's got great info in there. And it's also got the driver cleaner, which you wanna run the cleaner. Um, whenever you're changing your driver to make sure that it takes out all the old stuff and puts in the one that you're trying to put in So I've already downloaded this and let's pull that up So once you download the miner, I'm sure everybody already knows how to do the, the drivers Especially if you're messing with this. So I won't do that um, And by the way, this is a claymores miner uh, I've just kind of preset it up and tweaked it for you 
the all you guys need to worry about in here is the bottom part where it says start mining ETH. Um, actually, I'm only doing Ether, so hold on. Okay, sorry for the little bit of confusion. What you're actually going to see is start mining ETH only bat file right there. You're going to want to right click that and click edit, which I'll go ahead and do with my left hand. Sorry for the... edit this is all you guys are gonna have to do is go to that one file click edit and all this information is preset in here and the only thing you're gonna need to mess with is to set up a wallet and change your wallet address so you guys are actually getting the funds if you want to uh, tip me for helping you set all this up hey just leave it as is and run it like it is right now this will go straight into my account I really do appreciate it if you guys do decide to do so but for now, let me show you how to change this so it is ready to run um, for you and you know produce you guys some Ethereum. Now you can just try to change the worker to one, two, three, four. It's up to you. It's no big deal. It doesn't matter. Um, but what matters is that address because you're going to be mining to that address. So that's your Ethereum address that you're going to want to copy and paste. And let me show you how to create a Ethereum wallet. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to Coinbase. And once you are, oh, excuse me, sorry. Instead of going to Coinbase, um, well, you are going to go to Coinbase, but just use my uh, link if you don't mind. And that link is right there. It's just Coinbase backslash join the Bitcoin miner. And basically all this does is if you decide to buy um, $100 worth of Bitcoin, I think within 30 days of opening the account, you'll get free $10 worth of Bitcoin, and I will too. So I really would appreciate it if you guys do decide to uh, use my affiliate link. And even if you don't plan on buying it, you may buy it later on um, within the 30 or 60 days, whatever it is. And so it may count. Um, so I appreciate it again. So just go ahead and go there, guys, and sign up. Coinbase, by the way, is going to be the best way to host your coins. And let's log into that account. I'll show you that. So once you guys are logged into Coinbase, this is what it's going to look like. Coinbase only offers two wallets. And that's going to be Bitcoin itself and then Ether, ETH. So all you need to do is go over here to the sidewall. Click your Ether wallet, which I've already done. And then come over here and click Wallet. Um, I don't know why it's not giving me an address right now. Oh yeah, I the ether right now is suspended. I think for six hours. There's some major update going on. And anyways, but it's going to give you an address right there. So once you click that, you'll get an address. Um, bad timing for my video, but no big deal. You should be able to get one once you have that address. Copy and paste it. Copy and paste it into your bat file, which is right here. Okay. Once you have that done, you're going to go over to File and then click Save. So let's see if I can pull this off left-handed again. Yep, right there. And then just click Save. That's all you've got to do. Once you have that saved, you have your... Um, mining address basically you're mine to your ether address and this is the pool that you're going to be mining on which is ethermine.org so what you're going to do is you know if you want to go to the pool and check out your stats um, you would come over here and then copy that forget the us.1 just take the next part of it let me highlight it there you go the ethermine.org and then put that into your browser and then you'll come to their website and this is the website now there's a way to actually track um, your um, what your miner is doing based on your address. Let me see if I can set that up. Okay, so if you want to see your worker status information, um, what you need to do is use this link right here, ethermine.org backslash miners backslash and your Ethereum address. And then it will bring you up to a status page, which will just kind of just show you what your worker is doing, how much you're earning, and so forth like that. 
so that way you guys can check it out. And I'll go ahead and put these links also down in the bottom of the description. Um, help make it a little bit easier for you guys. Okay, I'm on the actual rig. So once you're ready to do either only, you double click it and a window like this is gonna pop up. So don't worry if you don't have six cards, it's set up to recognize up to six cards. You know, and so if you only have two, then it will show two, zero, one, and that will be your two. Or if you have three, zero, one, and two. Um, so you don't have to worry about that actually at all. And you are mining Ethereum. It is that simple, guys. It's not hard at all. So now what we can also do is I'm going to let this ramp up and get going. Because uh, it's being slow, so I'm going to pause it. Okay, there it goes. Ethereum mode only. We got zero, zero, zero. It's pretty normal to get zero or really low the first time. Okay, there she blows. 149 mega hash is close enough anyways getting about 24.8 per card now let's get you guys some readings so we're gonna want to let this run just for a little bit and try to heat up but Hopefully you guys can see that, but this is the watt meter and it is on watt. So we're pulling about 1,180 watts, give or take. Mining just ether with six cards, which will cost you a, just under $100 a month at 10 cents a kilowatt, just to give you guys an idea. So let's see if we can reduce this power draw a little bit by undervolting the card. And we're going to use tricks to do that. So you guys are going to want to download and open up tricks um, or whatever is appropriate for your cards. If you use uh, MSI, you want to use Afterburner and so forth. And from my understanding, these are cross usable. Not sure though. So what I'm going to do is pause this and I'll show you what I'm going to set up. So all I'm doing is setting the um, millivolts to the CPU voltage by down 25. I've pre-tested this. You guys are probably going to want to start with like 10 up to 25, up to 20, 30, and then start with 5 increments. And some cards will get as high as 50 pretty easily, 40. Some cards don't like it over 35. So you're kind of going to have to play with it. It takes time. But for general rule of thumb, 25, all cards should be able to handle this, no problem. So let's go ahead and click apply. Oops, over to settings. I switched it over. Click apply. I guess you can tell I've been doing this a lot lately. It's okay if it auto adjusts. For some reason, the software will do it. Doing this left handed, which is awesome. I think I just finished. Ugh. Left hand endurance. All right, let me double check them. I think I got them all done. Okay, we're still running pretty stable. 49 mega hashes, 49, 48, 49. So, didn't affect anything here. We did lower the power slightly, nothing dramatically. I think we're at 1,180 before. We're at 1,160, 170 now. So, let's play with this a little bit more. Okay, I played with it a little bit more, slowly moved each one of them up. As you can tell, we're still running stable, 49, 48 mega hashes, and I wind up going to 50 MV, but the tricks automatically adjusted it to 48. I guess it likes it better, or uh, I'm assuming it's just being a smart program. Um, 
I'm going to whatever is close to the number and that it likes. So who knows? Um, and let's see what the power we're getting out of this now. So we did lower the power again to 1,120 versus 1,180. So it's about a 60 watt savings, uh, which adds up over time. So it's as simple as just using this platform here um, and saving a little bit of money, guys. Now I've got you mining Ethereum. Uh, I really hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up as usual. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Uh, again, this is the Bitcoin Miner here, guys. Talk to you later on. See you guys.